Hi Virgo, how are you? If you're new, how welcome and I miss Michelle me and today we're going with your reading. You gotta be quick because my phone is dying, so let's go. I want to remind you that my readings have no date. They are genuinely guided, everything has free one, that everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that rose can be reversed between energies. And with this said, let's move forward. Para mi gente en español, por favor, verifiquen el botoncito de los settings en el lado derecho para sus subtítulos en español. And with this said, let's try to do this as quick as possible before my phone dies, babes. So right away, we got the sun in the reverse, the queen of wands in reverse, the chariot, four of cups, ten of swords, the devil in the reverse, and the magician at the bottom, ten of wands. We got cancer, Leo, Aries, Capricorn, Libra. Pisces um, and again cancer again okay dogs so I do see somebody um, was upset with your um, with your success or with your potential and they try to ruin you with negativity and sending you evil things but it did not work it backfire now you are about to if not already celebrating your victories if not you're about to because you stand up for yourself now i also see as well that you could be a little bit overbearing in some in some sort of situation and a little bit demanding so if you work in some sort of places or you're in i don't know in charge about a situ uh i don't know a job or something just try to be a little bit more flexible because that cannot continue to happen because then if it's a job or something you may not be considered again for the job or you could get bad rep this is just for some people now um they want you to control yourself and to continue with your focus and your willpower because you are heading places you are going to be confirmed with a lady that wears yellow boots I don't know what that lady with yellow boots and a lady that drive like not drives but like walks dogs uh and th she has yellow boots i don't know what that means for some of you now they will start saying here that you need to try to walk away from immature energies if they're not giving you their time of day if they're making excuses if they sounding like they are friends and that's pretty much where they are so don't get your high hopes with somebody who's giving you little to no energy it's time for you to stay away from immature energies and try to be more grounded and to try to pick up those signs or signals of like somebody may not be as interested in you the way you think they should or could the devil in the reverse uh they also want you to work on and i think you're doing that very good too and releasing and uh dependent energy i do feel like sometimes you could have get addicted to some sort of like energy it's like you're addicted to continue trying until you can convince yourself you're worthy of something and this could also lead for you to continue trying to work a situation with somebody who's clearly not interested because you think like if you continue trying it's gonna work keep in mind that you're worthy of love immediately and if somebody's not giving you their time of day they are not deserving of you not the other way around so with this said as hurtful as it could be sometimes it's just because you want it, it doesn't mean it's meant for you so just be able to be mindful and to listen to your intuition and to those red flags if they're acting like they don't care or that they're not interested is a million percent how they feel you know so just be mindful of that with the magician right here um they're talking to you to maybe focus a little bit more and uh, um manifesting things sorry guys i'm just so picky manifesting they want you to focus on manifesting uh there's like a full moon coming up i heard and it's a good time for you to like gather your thoughts and like pretty much manifest exactly what you need and watch it unfold before your eyes now with the ten of ones also you could be burnt out you are a very hard worker person it's time for you to find that balance in between work and in life um i do feel like people take you for granted a lot and you, t and you take humor. You have humor as a mechanism to cover up the pain. And that's great. But you need to understand that it is serious. You cannot say like, it don't matter. It does matter. It is important for you to feel your emotions, to embrace them so you can deal with it. Okay? It is not fun. And it's not a joke for people to play with your feelings. And you could be... People can say whatever, but I feel like you're too nice sometimes. Maybe because I'm a Libra myself, and sorry that I moved the mic so much. I'm just like that, and I think I'm not going to change. Uh, I'm too old for that. I'm 30, so, you know, you cannot show a dog new tricks. I mean, an old dog new tricks. Anyways, 
with the star in the reverse i do feel like some of you feel uninspired and bored what makes your heart dance what makes you happy what makes you back in the day smile besides money <laughs> It's time for you to find your first love, not the real dude or female who broke your heart and you continue to continue until they walked away. No, I'm talking about those hobbies, those passions, those things that back in the day used to make you happy. Maybe it's time to try them again or give it a shot so you can actually find a little bit more grounding. I think adult life be boring and, <laughs> and you know, it takes away a little of our spark. Um... I do feel like you have repressed anger <laughs> and repressed situations because I feel like people have betrayed you a lot and you try to wake like shake it off as a joke like haha like with humor and it's just not cool for people to play you like that. It's time for you to work within those feelings because it is a big deal even though you don't want to make it seem like but the only way that you could work with with your emotions and perhaps not commit the same mistakes or not let people do the same thing is if you take it seriously you don't take seriously sometimes when people hurt you because you in a way to perform can feel like you're not worthy of that much so you got used to bare minimum if not less when you see yourself in the eyes of the way i see you in the cards the way the universe see you in the cards you are royalty energies you should see yourself like that and make sure that every treatment everything is like if you were to get if they were to do it to royalty you need to start taking things more seriously when it comes about when it comes to you if they hurt you take it seriously if they lie to you take it seriously because we are what we reflect and if you reflect that it doesn't matter that you say oh it doesn't matter if they hurt me it doesn't matter if they lie to me that's how you reflect it and that's why they continue doing it With the fool in the reverse, um, you could be reckless, and you, but you're just naive. I do feel like Aries energy. There's a new beginning, and I feel like you have been wanting it and saying that you want it, but you continue to do some things that could be similar of your past behaviors. If not, when it comes to your potential partners, that could be it too. Um, I think you have like a type even though that you have changed a bit i see but it's still like you need to work a little bit on on that harder a little bit on that you know what i mean i got mixed up with the nine of cups in the reverse i feel like you could feel like you're shattered like some sort of dreams haven't come true i do see some sort of, some sense of negativity but i do feel like you need to allow yourself to have those feelings you need to allow yourself to feel those feelings so you can actually find grounding and say okay so this is what happens this is how i feel then you get yourself and gather yourself up and say okay now this is what's going to be happening from now on if this and that behavior were to show up at my door the lovers in the reverse um i do feel that you have trust issues and you have detachment issues because in the past you have connected with people and they play you they cancel uh i don't know dates last minute they switch up on you so you need to work on again trusting that you are deserving of love so you can actually connect those feelings to the behaviors of such and such so you can know if it's worth investing or not because you tend to go with anything that shows you a little bit of attention and you go like oh he or she did the bare minimum maybe they like me and this is not all of you but it's talking to a specific virgo you don't take yourself as seriously as you should because you think you're not worthy of more but it's the total opposite you're worthy of so much more because you had you have such beauty inside and out you are amazing and i don't say this just because i see it in the cards and it's just frustrating to see somebody so beautiful within inside and out not take themselves seriously and thinking that it's okay for people to hurt you and you say oh it's not a big deal i'm not telling you to be i don't know revengeful or anything but you need to project yourself 
in a different light because you are attractive and sometimes you give ugly people a chance i'm sorry i'm gonna tell you that and then what you do is give this ugly people a boost of energy slash self-esteem and then they act like you're the ugly one take yourself seriously take things more seriously and stop calling bare minimum is better than nothing no bare minimum is nothing you need to put yourself in royalty position which is like this <laughs> Stop holding on to the past. Don't be saying, oh, okay, I can't find nobody. I'm going to go to the past. The past didn't work for reasons that you know. It's continue to not work. You're going to continue to experience the same BS over and over and over. I'm telling you, you need to take yourself more seriously. Stop acting like you are a charity. You're not a charity. You are a whole, I don't know, corporation. <laughs> okay? Take yourself seriously. Love yourself enough and project what you want. Otherwise, you're going to continue to get crumbs. Stop detaching yourself from reality. You, re you detach yourself with humor. It's okay for sometimes, but you need to attach yourself when it comes to people who are rude being rude to you. You need to start calling it what it is. Because you don't show them people consequences. It's why they continue hurting you. And that's not okay. You can take or leave this message. But whoever stayed, you know it's true. We got the spirit animal and we got bear, which represents strength. And it says the bear symbolizes a strong source of support in times of difficulties and adversity. It may be time for you to stand for your beliefs or your truth with strength and confidence. You are free to roam at will and follow your path. Anyways, this is the end of your reading. I hope you liked it. If you didn't, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> i'll try next week uh please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't i also want to encourage you to follow me outside of youtube i'm on tiktok facebook ig spotify i do uh podcast every two weeks and english and spanish i offer personal readings all the links are going to be in the description box below but you can also check them out on my instagram thank you bye <laughs>